Welcome to the Headbangers podcast where you host Nathan and Brad. Today we're doing a review of definitely one of the best albums to come out this year. Um, it's very experimental and to be honest, it completely just changed my perception of what I thought the metal genre could be. Um, it is in fact Diorama by Mall. Nathan, what are your thoughts going into this? I mean, to be fair, I agree with you because I, I, I honestly genuinely, out of all the albums I've listened to this year, this is easily... My, fa- my either one of or my favorite i think it's genuinely the best album i've listened to all year yeah um because it genuinely made me very excited to to listen to metal again um yeah for and sure i haven't really stopped listening to it since we, we got access to it there's been some great albums coming out this year don't get me wrong but i feel like this one actually was a game changer um in terms of pushing musical boundaries you know a lot of bands might play it safe you know, some bands would like to do the same thing with the sound and that's fine if that's what they like. And, you know, I still enjoy a lot of these bands that, you know, like to just keep to, you know, keep in the ballpark a bit. Um, but these really pushed it. Um, very, you know, like a lot of influences. you got some black metal in there. you got some shoegaze. Um, it's very hard to pinpoint what this album actually is, except from just an, an experience in itself. Mm. And I- <laughs> Oh, fuck me. That was a surprise. Um, I, for one, as well, I'm really happy to be able to talk about this album because obviously we got this a bit early. Yep. Um, Courtesy to Nuclear Blast. Shout out. Thank you, Nuclear Blast. Um, yeah, but we, we managed to get get a listen to this a, a little bit earlier um, and it was so hard not to talk about it because it was so fucking good. Um, and it's one of, the, it was one of those where like, I, I remember listening to it and being like, oh my God. Um, I genuinely enjoyed almost every little bit of it. I had some memory if I had to pick that out, but uh, I genuinely enjoyed every single little bit of this album. Um, yeah, absolutely. And you know, we're fortunate to be able to sit down with Kim, the vocalist of Mall, and he talks to us about you know the backstory behind this, what inspired the lyrical content. So for those people that don't know, um, the album before this, the last album, Jord um i think it's yard yard oh yard yeah apologies for butchering the name here but yeah that was um it's like almost like a two-part in a way because that album was quite dark you know he's going for a lot of things you know in his life um you know struggling with beliefs you know kind of transitioning into not believing anything that he thought he believed at first um this album's more becoming content with that um and just you know accepting what life is so, you know, there's quite a lot of moments of triumph and even some sort of happy turns mixed with the dark melancholic uh, t- undertones as well. Um, you know, they released the, a few singles beforehand. One was Surf. Um, that was like a great taster to what to expect. There's just a lot of moments where there's tons and tons of melody, um, mm. which is something that's good that it's not forgotten. I think it's a very important part of, you know, creating a metal album you can sort of be more brutal sometimes by including nice harmonies in there as well as the darkness. But then with his black metal vocals layered on top of that, it helps to create a unique atmosphere. Throughout yeah, the entire definitely. Thing. I mean, like um, with this album, so I, I want to kind of jump in um, from the beginning of the song uh, fracture. Yeah. Um, it's a great start to the album. Great start to the album. Like, it feels like it kind of gives you almost everything that's going to be present in the album all in one. Yeah. Um, it's got this great, like, beautiful sound and harmonic guitar to open with, open it. Um, it's both kind of relaxing as well as atmospheric um, yeah. in the way it sort of builds up to the song. Um, and then just this crackling screech of Kim's vocals kind of comes, comes in about like, just after that intro and it kind of breaks up the track but also remind and reminds you you know what you're still listening to a black metal album like yeah and that's what some that's what's and like that's what i feel like you, all these themes that you sort of see sort of pop up in the album is personified in this song and it's honestly it's such a great way to start off the album yeah definitely um what i love about you know diorama as a whole is the fact that like you said it's got these tranquil somber moments um, but even at the same time coinciding, it's very brutal, but also 
you know quite therapeutic to listen to um which is mm. it is common like for like black metal to you know do that but like it's different with this like it feels soothing to listen to which is strange for a metal album but it does it so well but you never feel like the brutality is being dampened down um it's just a very nice mix of both um kim's mm. vocals especially throughout the entire thing very enthusiastic and bombastic but i feel like he very he very much pronounces every word so you, there's never moments where it just sounds like you know the lyrics were created afterwards and it's just you know meant to be harsh vocals but actually feels like he's trying to make sure every word is embraced yeah and like it was something that we kind of spoke to to kim about in yeah. our interview where it was kind of like he explained mm-hmm. as well, like, you know, like we hear cleans in this album, which we'll have to get to in a minute, but the clean, like, the, you know, like he said it felt, he felt very like vulnerable sort of putting out his cleans, but he's, the, even these cleans were fucking incredible as well. Like they really add something different to this album as well. Um, also, I want to go into Photophobic because Photophobic, it's, one of my favorites. Oh, well, it's my favorite from the album because it's just got such a good little, like amazing chorus, you know, like that job. Do I mean like yeah. that 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 hook is so catchy? I uh, it's really weird to say about like a black metal song like an out like song because you never really you never really hear the word black metal and catchy together. Yeah, but if you listen to right. photophobic, you completely understand what I under what what I mean by that. Like it literally sticks in your head, like and you can't really get it out of your head because it's it's so. Uh, every single little bit it fits so well with the the actual guitars and the drums behind it as well like i feel like with kim with what he did with his vocals in this album like he made like like what he said though like he made you know like made sure that he's an instrument just as much as the guitarist and the drummer yeah like and you can see that in this in in this album like the vocals not only like like not blend in but uh, but are uh, themselves an instrument that is used yeah in a way where it's not like you know like where you like you know you listen to other albums and stuff like that and you can tell there was a a clear you know the, the vocals are what sells this the, the vocals are what's going to be the main dragging point however in this album like you don't get that vibe you feel like it is a full piece of people working together to create a really really amazing album yeah definitely um, on top of that as well um you can see clear influences all across the board you know even from punk to shoegaze to black metal to death metal like there's a lot of things going on in here and it, you can tell that these people don't just listen to one thing and they've managed mm-hmm. to in- include a lot of stuff that people might not think would work but it certainly does um so everything's layered layered very nicely as well like um surf that's another standout for me from the album and it's also the it's also the track that sort of follows photophobic yeah um like the intro kind of took me massively by surprise when i first listened to this i don't know about you brad but um not a first for the melodic sort of intro uh, uh, not at first like the, the melodic intro something apparent throughout uh, all my listening at that point yep. um the intro is almost remind me massively of modern metalcore yeah um in a way because like it's just got such a good groove to it um i feel like i butchered the intro to, to how i how i wanted to go into that but <laughs> it, the, the intro in this is is so reminiscent of metalcore and it's it's crazy to sort of listen um it adds like sort of an extra layer of versatility for them all because like throughout this album as well as throughout their other work like they've shown that they can be more than um your stand you know your standard black metal band like and i feel like in this album overall they really do show that by going look we can do this but we can also do that and we can also do this and we can also do that like it's to the point where this band could probably start any shot, jump into any genre, and it would sound natural, yeah. no matter what they really do. Um, because in there's a lot of stuff we see bounced around, even just in photophobic and surf, that 
what on paper wouldn't seem like it would go together. Like there's even opera, operatic sections in photophobic, yeah. if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. But wait, on paper you'd be like, oh, well, I don't know if that had mixed well with this, that, and the other. But every single little influence and every single little um, part of the music all bounces from one end to the other seamlessly without any feeling of, oh, that was a bit abrupt. Like yeah. the, the, that's not what I got in my listening experience. I always got a perfect clean um sort of transition from one end to the uh, one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum there were never any pattern point where it took me out the album and made me go oh what was that like it it was like a listening experience where you can just stick it on and be lost for like an hour or two yeah it's incredibly immersive um all the elements play into each other very well um i think every song as well is an absolute treat you know, they've all got their own unique styles, but, you know, you never feel like this one's taking it completely off. Like, you know, there's one song in there that doesn't fit well with the others. Um, it's very consistent, but also inconsistent in the right ways. Um, mm. Vestige is one of my personal favorites. Um, probably one of the heavier ones on the album. Um, but you see like a lot more of maybe the death metal influence with the chuggy riffing, um, mm. I think. But again, it's still very melodic in there as well. Yeah, like, like there was so much as well. Like, it's never, I've never really had, I've always had difficulty writing album reviews because I never really know what to say about an album yeah. that no one else would already pick up on. But this one was so much, this one was so easy to write because yeah. it was like, everything was sort of handed to you, like, because everything was so well made. Um. Yeah, like uh, Festige is easily one of my favorites as well from the album. Um, it's also like kind of cut straight into the action, yeah. um, but it also has this slow, somber and harmonic, these slow, somber and harmonic intros that also sort of goes, you know, it's not all just, you know, it's not all just black blast beats and screaming. Um, like it, it really, really does sort of like exemplify the um the pure range of the band like as well you know i i, I remember i put i put on this review that the entire album in like a way of like a, a way to describe that i'd describe it would be a be beauty in darkness yeah absolutely um, because it, it is literally that's what you can feel from it is like it's just this this you can you can tell the songs are dark and you can tell the album is a dark album but in it, you also find like these really, really beautiful sections where you're like, that is, it, it is genuinely makes you feel like, I wouldn't say like emotional whilst listening to it, but you you get like the, the what must be like, emotions. Yeah. Yeah. These feelings of emotions that to me from any other album I've not had transferred over to me. Like it was almost like, you know, you could feel what, you know, the band was feeling when they were writing the, yeah. that, that song. And it's very unique that it, an album can do that. It's very, um, yeah, it feels real. Like, it doesn't feel like they're faking it because a lot of bands, um, you know, they might get to a certain point where they used to write, you know, emotional music and stuff that actually meant something to them. But then when it becomes a brand, you know, you'll find that some will just be, keep going back to that just to write an album instead of actually processing what emotions you're feeling and then projecting them into the songs. Um, mm. As we know, it was a very real concept for Kim and the rest of the band. Um, and it's interesting that, you know, we kind of thought, oh, we actually thought it was Beauty in the Darkness and it turned out that that's actually what the, what the you know, the concept of the album is. So it's quite interesting how without saying anything and without really, you know, reading into the lyrics that you can almost see the projection from that. Um, it was mm. absolutely bang on the head there. So, yeah, I absolutely think that is beauty in the darkness and you do sort of feel that contentness with with the the grim side of life and i think that's what it what it projects to me mm, definitely um redacted as well what did you, like redacted for me was really good i enjoyed that a lot yeah um i mean like the laws oh the laws um it it really does shows shows kim's talent for also yeah. deliver I, I feel like we, you know we're talking a lot about vocals but there's a lot of sort of impre very impressive focal, focal techniques to sort of dissect in this yeah. like 
Kim's laws in this track is are unreal. But you know, I, I feel like we have to also talk about the guitars and the drums. Like the drums are well crafted, the guitars are well crafted, every single bit um is really just so polished and so clean. Like there's not a moment where you you know like it kind of like brings you into like what what would feel like the live atmosphere yeah. um just from listening to it um but i think like the guitars know, like they they flow into each other really well it's it's got this seamless effect where you know the guitar riff morphs it doesn't feel like it's quickly transitioning it feels like it's branching off which mm. is really cool yeah like so like for the guitars, like you, you'll find like it has like these these really heavy trem picking, like along with the drums and blast, and then all of a sudden it just goes, and you just hear these harmonics come through, and it's like, ah, oh, I, I, it, it literally like you just it it feels like a natural part of progression. Yeah. You're like, oh okay, and it's it's so refreshing to like I can't understate how refreshing it is to actually like listen to as an album because like for the longest time i feel like a lot of bands play it safe and they, they you know they don't sort of think outside the box and they they go well you know this is how it's always been and you know this is how we're going to do it as well which is fair enough completely fair enough like but like mo really 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 are one of those bands where it's like let's just let's do it yeah because it's like the, and it comes through in the music like there's nothing more unique to me about them than their sound really and i feel like they're going to be one of those bands that will probably be copied by a lot a lot of people yeah because it sounds so fresh Absolutely. it sounds so different no for sure um at this album really is a game changer and if you're watching this review and you haven't listened to the album yet i really suggest you do like we're above us were very enthusiastic about this because you know when nathan told me you need to listen to this album right now and i was just like Okay, well, for one, I've never seen Nathan this excited about a metal album in a long time. And um, that really, you know, kicks him into the gear. And I was like, okay, I will give it a listen. And honestly, I was completely blown away. Like, it's just a vibe, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, the, very atmospheric. And, you know, for the whole minutes that it's on there, you know, you feel like you're really in another world, you know, just letting the songs take you. Um, you know, yeah. there's, there's not really a moment where, you get time to breathe, you know, you're just constantly bomb- bombarded by, you know, these beautiful harmonies, um, crushing vocals, very nicely laid drum patterns. So, uh, yeah, it's fucking great. I think it's one of the only albums that I listen to four times in a row and, like, not being, and just, just straight off the bat because I was like, I need to get everything that's in here. Like, I remember when I sent you over this review, you were like, I mean, it's two fucking pages look right along, and you're like, Jesus Christ! I said, I, I literally could write an essay about each one, each individual song, and sit yeah. here talking for hours about it. But honestly, if you're watching this or listening to this review on Spotify, I think you need to uh, you need to click away, come and um, listen to the album, and then come back yeah, <laughs> like, and say your because, thoughts. Um, it, what is your overall score then of this album? Because I think. I know, but Before I've... we give out scoring, I want to talk about the title track diorama. Yep. Because out of, I mean, I get like um, when I listen to like a lot of albums, I listen to the title track, and I'll be like, oh, you, you sure you wanted that to be the title track? <laughs> um, yeah, do I, I mean, mean like, <laughs> well, you like you listen to it, and there'll be like other songs where you know you 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 go, I think that should have been, but with this album. I couldn't think thought of a better title track because Dior- Diorama is such a great, incredible, incredible performance from the band throughout. Um, it's got incredible, incredible screams from a, a, ve- a female vocalist. I wish I, I wish I knew her name, but also, um, also Kim himself. Um, and it really resonates well, and and they really resonate well and complement each other throughout. Um, for me, Everyone like the song duet. sort of sounds like a full stop at event at the end of a sentence. So like I feel like this entire album is a story, and this was just the final. And there you go, the end. And it, it leaves such a 
sort of somber and sad feeling in general, but is also uplifting as well. And that is something that you hear all the way through this album and get the vibe from. It's a somber, uplift, somber but yet uplifting feeling that this album gives you. Yeah. And that's what's crazy. Like the uplifting part is an interesting thing that you said because I generally feel like that as well. Like it's not, even though it's quite emotional and quite dark, you know, it's very triumphant and, you know, it does make you feel sort of happy when you listen to it. So I think that's where the contentness comes in. But yeah, this is a very somber, brutal, nice way to finish the album. And it's sort of a homage to themselves in a way. Like, you know, this so this is what you've received in the album. Um, here's the way to wrap it up. And I couldn't think of a better way to, to finish, it, finish it off, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Genuinely, genuinely, like, it's so different. And, like, I could, I, honestly, I, 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 this is why I think when we do, like, you know, like a sort of, like, one-year, you know, like, awards, mm. I'm going to say this now, and we're, you know, we're, at no, we're in November at the time of sort of filming this. And to be honest, I, I can't think of any album that's going to top this for me. Yeah. Like something has to be really, it's a rabbit's going to have to pull, some crazy fucking rabbit's going to have to be pulled out of a hat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like for me to go, actually, maybe this might be my favorite. I think genuinely, like, like out of all the other, like, experience i listened to i think the only one that made me also genuinely excited was you know not loses but for me this one from just a a standpoint of music really blows that out of the water for me i i appreciate not loses release you know from heavy heaviness but moles gave you all like that basically like it felt like they gave us their all in this album but as well like it showed us like a trajectory they can they can really take yeah, um, a really clear path, and I, I really hope there's nothing but good things for this band because, if I'm honest, this band deserves to be a fucking headliner, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now this this it's a it's a straight ten for me. Like I can't think of a single thing to criticize it. It's just a masterpiece because, you know, as a listening experience, there's nothing that quite compares. You know that I've seen in a while that really pushes the boundaries of not only metal but music in general. Um, mm. it's a it's a unique listen. Um, a lot of different emotions go on when you listen to it. Um, and I can't say the same about a lot of albums that I've listened to. Like I love a lot of music, but this one really took me by surprise. Mm, definitely. And I, you know what, what's crazy is I showed, so I've got a friend at work. Um, he's in an, in an indie band. Mm. Um, he, I mean, he does listen to a bit of metal, but like not, not a lot. And I showed him this album and he, he came back and he went, that was a, an amazing album yeah and that's co- you know like if you sent someone any other black metal album and go you know i know you don't listen to much metal but hit, have a listen to this chances are they will come back and go i didn't know what i was listening to and this that's what i think this, that's what speaks volume about this album the most like you could honestly hand this to anyone and i reckon they would come back and go you know what I really, really enjoyed yeah, that. But it's not my thing, but, but you know, I, I actually generally enjoyed it, which is, it's interesting. I feel like there's a little, little treat for everyone in there. There's a lot of musical yeah. capabilities and there's a lot of stuff going on. And I'm on, I'm on the same page as you, Brad. I would honestly rate this a 10 because I, I honestly, like, you know, like a lot of pe- people like would be like, oh yeah, but you know, you should put constructive criticism in your reviews i'm like sometimes it does not need it there's sometimes no fucking it's just a masterpiece there's no there's no criticism criticism in this like there's no way i could fucking sit here and criticize because these guys are better musicians than me then and to be honest like a lot of mo- most people that are giant like i feel like they're, they're shitting all over them like yeah this is such a well-crafted album that i feel like it's what if you haven't listened to it, listen to it because, in my opinion, it is a ma- a masterpiece for the Absolute band. Like game changer, yeah. Um, and I feel like a lot of other bands should really take note and really, really, really look at their writing in a different sp- perspective because I feel like Mole shows through this album that if you think outside the box and out the boundaries of what you find is the norm, you can really create something really special and really beautiful. Yeah. And if you have friends about going to it, challenge yourself and give it a shot because I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. 
But that's our review of Mall Diorama. Um, it's a fucking fantastic list. And me and Nerf are going to need to rep this because, you know, we were both blown away by it. Um, mm-hmm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're also on Patreon as well. Um, yep, so don't forget to subscribe to that. Besides the Patreon, um, you know, we will look to do some more stuff on there. Um, we want to get the ball rolling. But yeah, if you enjoy what you see, then, you know, stay tuned. See what yeah, comes next. Leave a like and uh, subscribe if you liked us that much. Yeah. But yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next one.